Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do an acrylic pour on a pumpkin. And this is just a really cheap pumpkin that I got from the dollar store. Um, it does have a little stem that's literally just held on by a toothpick. And this is just foam. Now, you'll notice that it's painted white. I did try one without painting it first, and the paint just didn't want to stick to it. Um, it's still pretty cool, but I did not post that video because it was not what I was going for. So for this one, I just painted it white so that the uh, paint could stick to it, and we're going to get started with that. And I am today using just Craftsmart paints. I'm going to be using the black, white, grass green and purple okay and these are all mixed with Floetrol and water and I will put the ratios down in the description which definitely check that out because it's a different ratio than my normal paint mixture because these are thinner paints alright and I am going to start here by using leftover paint from yesterday and if you'll notice I do have a canvas under here which I put there to catch the um, paint that drips off of here because I figure just like a vase it can make some cool make a cool pattern on there but we're gonna see all right so that's just the leftover paint um, which is mainly black and orange <laughs> okay and then using I'm gonna just go ahead and use that same cup I'm gonna use black purple. This is really like joker colors. <laughs> um, and green and white. Okay. That's all the white. I'm going to go in there with a bit of extra purple. Okay. So I put enough paint in this cup theoretically to cover the canvas. So we're going to also try to get the pumpkin covered. And as a note, this does sink in. So it does definitely help to kind of tilt sometimes as you go along. But we can also just do that at the end. All right, here we go. See what we can make here. And you can, of course, do this with a real pumpkin as well. Um, this is just a foam one I picked up from the dollar store. Last year I actually used real pumpkins to do this and made some really cool pumpkins. But then um, either some squirrels or some raccoons ate them and I felt bad because they were covered in paint. And I'm not sure how healthy that was for them. So this year I figured I would do a fake pumpkin <laughs> and then I won't have to worry about them. Plus I can keep this for years and years to come, right? in theory. All right. So there we go. So far, so good. I'm going to just touch up some spots with my uh, fingers and I'm going to, before I forget, quickly tilt this because there's a lot sitting up there on the top. Okay. Good. So just like with the vase, we're going to let this sit here for a couple minutes, let it keep dripping, and then we'll go ahead and we'll do the canvas. So we'll be back. Okay. So we've let this dripped off, drip off <laughs> for a while. I'm going to now carefully move it aside. Yes, you're going to get fingerprints on it. Um, there's definitely ways to do this without having to move it. Um, like you can, you know, prop it up on something. For my location, I don't really have much to work with, so I didn't. Um, and there you go. I'm going to finish touching up parts of it with my hands. Realize this is going to continue to move for really hours. So even if you get fingerprints on it, it's not going to be the end of the world. It's going to just keep dripping down. And so it should cover up your fingerprints. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do the canvas. Now, if you remember, I did pick up the pumpkin to tilt it, so we didn't get that usual circle in the middle, but that's okay. This is going to be a 
dark painting. And this is just a good way to do this and not, you know, waste so much paint. So far, so good. I'm going to help it along on the edges here. So there you go, there's the painting. It did uh, muddy a little bit in the middle there where I was um, picking up the pumpkin and then setting it back down. So, but that's okay, it goes well with the painting. All right, like I said, we'll come back tomorrow when everything's a bit more dry and then we'll do our close up. All right, hey guys, welcome back. So, everything's dry now. Let's start with the pumpkin. It actually came out better than I anticipated, and I did take some of the regular green paint and just painted this. Um, you can, you know, do something else with this if you want. And uh, if I was at home, I would probably, you know, maybe even put a couple more layers of paint on there. But either way, I think it would look great uh, once I seal it. Um, and this, yeah, actually came out way better than I even anticipated. <laughs> So there's the little pumpkin, great holiday decoration, you know, $1 at the dollar store there. And this is the painting that was underneath, um, little, little bit muddier than I would have wanted. But like I said, I moved that pumpkin around a bit. So I think had I not done that, it would have been a bit better, but I still like how it came out. And once again, I think once I seal it, you know, make it glossy it will look great again. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, really quick, I wanted to show you, this is that Halloween pour that I did. Um, it dried beautifully. I cannot wait to seal this. It's so, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And otherwise, I'll see you next time.